And now they love the show of affection, appreciation, and want to be given acknowledgement. But mental health patients can't experience most of these any longer, and inevitably, some view it as rejection. Recently, mental health staff have had a daunting task explaining to patients what is at stake. But do patients understand what Eli has been finding out? The front line of inpatient psychiatry has been complex and challenging, but COVID-19 has completely changed how health officials practice and how their patients experience care. According to mental health officials, they meet patients where they are and often those who are severely distressed would want to be shown love and care. We used to organize makeup show among ourselves. Nurses do make up patients and then they do the same for staff. And it was very therapeutic, but now we can't do that. It's affecting them because most of them feel they've been abandoned by their relatives here, so they see us as relatives. So now that they can't come closer to us, or sometimes you come to work with a max on and then some do feel like, is it that I'm smelling? That's why this person is wearing a max or the person is moving away from wherever I'm sitting. But we've tried to educate them as much as we can. In some instances, it is difficult to observe the two-meter protocol officials admitted. For their vital signs too, we check it twice every day. Okay, for those who are not medically ill and then those with other medical conditions, we check it every four hours. So let's say six times in a day. Some clients also lack the emotional regulation to process why health professionals were so close some few months ago and why they're now distant. But others like Love, not her real name, at one of Ankafu Psychiatric Hospital's female admission ward understands. She tells me what she knows about coronavirus. Coronavirus is a, it's a, it's a sickness. You can't, see, you can't see from your naked eye. The, it's a, in the air. Love says the nurses have been educating them. The nurses here, madam, they're teaching us every blessed day. I have learned it that if you come in eating, you're supposed to wash your hands with soap. She was confident patients like herself are safe. We will come here in the yard here, so you can't go outside, so you can't feel it. Like Love explained, I observed their sitting arrangement during lunch had changed. There was physical distancing. I moved to a rehab ward and met Faith, not her real name. She shared her thoughts on COVID-19. I watch TV. Okay. Yes, we watch news every morning, every evening. Okay, we regularly wash our hands. Mm -hmm. We also sanitize it, mm -hmm. social distancing. The danger is not on our side. It's mm -hmm. more like the nurses or the thing. Mm -hmm. So they say we can't have any visitors. At the Pantang Hospital Psychiatric OPD in Accra, I met a patient who was in an irritable state, who also shared a thought on COVID-19 via audio recording. The president is compelling us to wear those masks because he wants to root out taking loss. That is the responsibility. Coronavirus is a setup. But how difficult is it to manage such patients? For some of them, they can't conform to social norms. For some of them, they are become a bit reckless, sometimes disinhibited, um, difficult to follow instructions. And we still need to deal with these people while still observing all those. Things. And you need a lot more people around them. And you need a lot more logistical resources to be able to deal with these cases. Mental health care has also been challenging for patients and health caregivers. Many times, emotional support is needed by the patient, the very thing that physical distancing may compromise. Wendy Lai, TV3 News.